Hey, this is Andrew with ImageQuicks, and today I'm going to show you how to create an ID card template using the My Designs tab in Blueprint. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure you have your foreground or background layer designs completed if applicable. While you can create or modify these layers in the designer, studios typically create their own designs using a third-party tool like Adobe Photoshop and import the files into the layer when building the template. You'll also want to confirm the dimensions of your ID cards to ensure the canvas size you're building will fit the entire surface area of the card. The most common dimension size is 3.25 by 2.25. And with that, let's get started. First, I'm going to open the My Designs section of Blueprint. And then I'm going to click on the Add Product button to add a new print product to my catalog. I'm going to give this product a meaningful name so that I can understand what ID template this is. And then I'm going to enter in the canvas size that I'm going to be building the product with. To get this value, I would have measured the surface area of the ID card that I'm going to use to print with. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to enter in the most common value, which is 3.25 for width and 2.25 for height. Once entered, I'm going to click on the design button up here at the top right hand corner to enter the designer tool and get started building the design. First, I'm going to go ahead and add a background layer to my template here. I'm going to click on the green plus button next to the background layer on the left hand side to add in that layer. And then I'm going to switch from a color picker over here on the right to an uploading an image. And I'm going to click on choose image to bring up a file explorer window here. I'm going to go ahead and click on my file and there I've added the design I've created outside of Blueprint to my background layer. Next I'm going to add an image layer here. This is going to add in an image node and I can move this node anywhere I want on the design. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it in here in this white space that I've cut out on the design and I can click and drag these corners here to manipulate the node to fit whatever size I want. Then over here on the right hand side, I can map this image node to a specific image from my subjects in my job. I'm going to go ahead and set this to pull in the primary image of the subject when it prints. Next, I'll want to add in some text nodes to bring in that subject data. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the green plus button next to the text layer here to drop in a text node. And I'm going to do the same thing with the image node where I grab the corners there to resize it and then click to drag and move that text node to the position I want it to appear on the design. And then over here on the right hand side, I'm going to change the text content to be from customer supplied to subject data. And I'm going to map this text node to bring in the first name and the last name of the subject. I'm also going to click on the scale text to fill node. And this is going to prevent any subjects that have extremely long names to having that name run outside of the text box or get cut off. Now I'm going to add in another text node here, so I'm going to click on the green plus button to drop in another node, and just like before, I'm going to use those corners there to resize and reposition this text node to exactly where I want it on the design. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the title up here to instead of being text, be grade. And notice that once I've entered that in, the text actually changes on the design. So this is just a visual aid to help you understand what those text nodes or what those image nodes are actually pulling in. So I'm going to go ahead and change the text content there to be subject data and then in the drop down box I'm going to type in grade to automatically highlight that value and I'm going to click on that to lock it in place. Now finally I need to add a barcode to my ID card so I'm going to go ahead and add one more text layer. Now there's no limit you can add in as many as needed. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this over down to the bottom of here in this white space. And then I'm going to change the font here to uh, Libra Barcode. Now our fonts are powered by Google Fonts, so we highly recommend checking out their website there to see a complete list. But I'm going to go ahead and type in Barcode in the text box here to see a list of barcode fonts. And the most popular one is Libra Barcode 128 text, so I'm going to go ahead and select that to add it in. 
And I'm also going to scale that text to fill the node here. And I can also change the color through an RGB picker, or I can change the alignment and positioning of the text inside that text node. So I'm going to go ahead and use a far left alignment. Now, because I capture my subject's student ID as their online code, I'm going to go ahead and map this barcode font to subject data, and I'm going to have it pull in the subject's online code. So now, when this design is actually printed and it brings in that subject data, because their student ID is mapped to the online code data field, this should scan in with the subject's student ID. Perfect. So now I've finished designing my ID card. I've added in all of the different nodes and design elements I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sync in the top right hand corner to save my changes and make them readily available on any device that I signed into Blueprint with. Now you can alter your design as much as you want, add in as many layers as needed or data fields as needed to fulfill your perfect design. And then one final best practice is I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main My Designs page here to view my catalog. And then I'm going to select the product that we just created and I'm going to add in a display image. And I'm going to add in the background layer that I created outside of Blueprint as my display image for the product. This allows me to view at a glance what this design is going to be without having to open the designer. I can also specify the print rotation for this design to be at 90 degrees and this is useful if you have a vertical ID card printer because you've designed this product as a horizontal fashion. You can still print in a vertical fashion with your existing equipment. Be sure to sync and save those changes as well.